the fight declared a technical draw at the time though as uh, it was, there was an accidental head clash but he returned been unbeaten with it ever since he is the longest reigning active title holder in the world and up against him 12 is nickname nicknamed by his coach i think nick durat a 25 2 0 from uh, duncan village in uh, east cape slightly in fighting for and winning titles for the last nine years uh, he began as a bantamweight, though, became a national champion in 2005. But he's not for uh, this should be Chris John's night again. It should well be. Vetiak, and perhaps not so experienced, as you already said, Tim. The Dragon, who is a national hero. He's as big over there in Indonesia as it was when he had at the, the height of their careers. Like, had a few scares down the years, though. As, uh, but he's overcome them all those ended in in draws really the featherweight brother in 2009 when he beat uh, rocky juarez uh, which is where he's been operating ever since and when you think successful defenses it shows you the quality of what we're watching here albeit at 34 years of age in this type of weight yeah they tend to go on as you say tim they tend to go on a little bit longer the heavier the weights Couple of good range, good variation. Leaves himself open to that right hand and the left hook as well. Oh, oh that's a great, great, great shot. shot. Couple. Very much success with that. Well, the right hand bashing against the side of Eddie Eckers head, but he's taken them well enough. And there it is again. Left hook followed up by the right hand. And he could equal Pedroza's number of defences if he wins here. There's a slip there. A distance in between the two of them, and he's not landing anything. Neither fighter are landing much. It's only when they're getting close there, you begin to see... Uh, some of the experience and the speed, the hands. The left, long lead left jab into her and a sweeping hook. And again, tries to follow up with the uh, right hand, but this time, Betty Ecker just ducking out the way. Oh, no, he was surely just pushed off balance there. And the referee does agree. Not really made much of an impression no, so no. far. Just seemed to be falling short with some of these shots. John, and that just stunned him momentarily. It's a bit of a low blow. And it's a clubbing shot on the back of the neck. Then the referee should step in and warn him, which he does. The video could turn out the way. Bad idea. And again, he goes low with that shot. Surprised they didn't get and do something with his uh, trunks at the next interval. <laughs> out the way of some of the big bombs that are coming. Yeah. Vettiak is just smartening up some of his approach work here there's as well. There's some good counter shots coming out from Vettiak. Vettiak to then. John is one of the, the best athletes that you'll see in this game. His conditioning has been second to none. I have to say, though, if you've watched uh, many of Chris John's fight, been a bit sporadic this so far. Tied the arena here for him as well. He's Got him in a headlock. Yeah, he's made it hard work for uh, Chris John Vettier to say tonight. And he's trying to throw that overhand right, but he can't get it to land. It's blocked before it finds its destination. And again, they were commenting about this in his corner. Uh, the break for the last round is like he does there. His timing's looked a bit off. He's taken two good left hands there. Nice little counter from Vatieka. The equalizing punch with the left hook. There it is again. And he got caught with a bit with the, the uppercut. That 
is better. And the combination's just two, three. Pun Referee just yeah. losing his rag a bit yeah, here. He's having none of that. The Vediaka isn't getting dictated to here. No, he's uh, in respects, he's rising to the occasion. Got to give credit to the corner. They've stemmed the, the flow of. Chris John 30, Vetieko 28. You know, competitive fighter, Vetieko and his friend. Stop 15 of the. A bit of weight with his shots. That's a right hand that again just brushed the chin. the South African. It certainly is, it certainly is. He's got a great array of shots, a great variety of shots, making life difficult here for, tonight for Chris John. And again. And he was super confident on the eve of coming here, despite the fact he knew that he was taking on Something of a, a ring legend in for the first time in the round, but again, he gets tied up pretty quickly. He's not had the, the flow to his work, no, has he? Not at all, not at all. As, uh, and again, he's missed. His timing is off. Just beginning to wonder, uh, Tim, if, if, if uh, the time itself has starting to catch up with, with Chris John. We've seen him in some great fights. Over There's the fan club in the background. But again, again great hand speed from Vedieka. And I think that's Vedieka make, making it scrappy at times. He, you know, he doesn't want to stand in trade with Chris John. When he comes up close, wants a time out, makes things a little bit ugly. Either this or the featherweight belt before it, before the seventh round. January 2000, he finished it in seven. There's the hook and the right hand. Peppering that jab out though, uh, Vettieka. It's them by Vettieka. opponent a little bit here tonight coming into this well it has to be said Betiak is having his fair amount of successes in Australia Vedieka is certainly having the and again you talked about the the slowing down is the the years go by much and this plodding movement straight forward, straight into the line of fire of Eddie Ecker and that jab. He's got to do a bit more. Well, He's trying to get I out of the think, way of it here. I think those shots... Hurtful shots. Hurtful He's, shots. He doesn't look... no doubt about it. Chris John looks on very wobbly legs. He does a bit here. He's John gone. is in trouble He's here. Gone. The end of a ring legend. Is this his last moments here? Is this going to be a defeat? That has got to be a knockdown. Surely. <laughs>
bit of adrenaline pumping here now maybe the realizes isn't ready to give up his belts and his unbeaten record yet but Vedi Eke is doing his very best in here to make sure that that is the case sometimes it just isn't there anymore you know wherever that's going to be tonight he seems to be coming about well oh Vedi Eke is reaching a bit with that right hand but it still landed in it of the sixth left we're halfway to have you got the, the fight at the moment. Well, I got it dead even so far. Dead even. But looking at Chris John. Jim tried to find a way through with that left hook. I found the root blocked off John. His man down here again, and it's a similar end to the round here in round six, and it was to round five. He's just running out of gas, isn't he, Chris John? Oh, that's a massive right hand there, and he's down this time. I think the writing's on the wall here. He's up very quickly. He looks very, very much round. Inside the final 10 seconds. Most worrying moments of his entire professional. The great sportsmanship being shown by Chris John, who fell just short of equaling his day.